We turn our attention now to men's singles in Class 6, a semi-final, I beg your pardon, Class 11, uh, between Samuel Von Einem of Australia and Kim ji Tae of Korea. Both these men obviously already guaranteed a bronze, but they'll want more than that. And there's a lot of history between these two. They've actually been playing against each other for more than a decade competitively. First match was in 2014. Von Einem has an 8-3 lead in the head-to-head, -head, although he's lost two of the last three, which makes this particularly interesting. He lost to Kim at the Lugano Open this year and then also uh, last year at the Korea Open. The Australian has a silver from both the Rio Paralympics and also the Games in Tokyo three years ago. Also got a World Championship bronze medal. And he's actually played national non-para table tennis at junior level and tennis as well. So he's clearly a, a phenomenally talented sportsman. And I was reading the story, John, it was, it was quite amusing, actually, that his journey towards table tennis, that he moved to Abu Dhabi with his family when he was eight years old. And previously, it was, it was into football and tennis, and it was so hot, he kind of moved indoors and found table tennis. Well, that's where air conditioning comes in handy. Indeed, it's a great invention. Isn't it though? Especially in that part of the world. The man in charge here is uh, David Gallego of Colombia. Yeah. Get our warm up going here. It's a two minute warm up. The umpire brought the rackets out and uh, they were placed on the table so that both players could take a peek at them. As many players use different types of variations of rubbers. Some are smooth. Some may have pimples or pips with or without sponge. And of course, those types of rubbers in particular will cause the ball to do different things. When uh, Von Einem won that silver in Rio, he became the first Australian for 32 years to win a table tennis medal in either the Olympics or the Paralympics. Looking at Kim who won the world title a couple of years ago when it was held in Granada in Spain. Also the Asian Para Games champion from 2022. Been playing a long time. He started at the age of 10 in primary school and he said he, his main influence was his father who just played as a hobby. Um, for uh, Kim Ji Tae, it's become much more than that. A good time to mention services. The ball is to be placed in flat palm if possible. And the ball is to be projected above the table, a minimum of 16 centimeters, and be visible to the opponent at all times. There can be variations, of course, with the non playing hand, depending on impairment. As long as the ball is projected up and can be seen by the opponent, those accommodations are certainly made. Yeah, this is going to be a, a really high quality match between these two. Einem apparently idolizes Roger Federer, the recently retired Swiss tennis player. Not too many better role models in sport over the last couple of decades, I wouldn't have thought. Kim is 26, but he's been playing internationally for 11 years. He made his debut as a 15-year-old for uh, Korea Republic. So Kim will get us started. Just a reminder, best of five. And I think the fact that Kim has won two of the last three meetings will give him a little bit of a of an edge here because he was dominated by the Australian in their uh, earlier encounters. Just three years between them age-wise. The Aussie's 29, Kim is 26. Boy. 
Oh, that's a superb shot. Absolutely minimal body motion or movement. And excellent timing. And a very impressive backhand there in that rally. He's come to play, Kim Ji Tae. Lightning start for the Asian. Combination hits there. Great start for Kim. This is absolutely phenomenal from Kim Ji Tae. Against, against the number one ranked player in the world. Sorry, John. No, no, not at all. It, it, it's so calm and so quick on his feet. Well, everything that the Australian's throwing at him is coming back with interest at the moment. Eight love in. We've only been playing for two minutes. Well, that'll be a huge sense of relief for Von Ayn. It may not be enough to come back in this game, but no one wants to be bageled in a, an Olympic uh, semi final. It's like an inside out shot. Kind of looked like he might go you know, down, the uh, down the line, he just turned and pivoted. Oh, it looks like it may have nicked the net too. Had too much to applaud in this game, the Australian coach. At this stage, you want to try to build some momentum. So you get in that second game, assuming it goes the way we think it should go, and get ready for that second game and come out fast. the first real shot in anger, you would say, from Von Einem. And he was down 8-0. Yeah. So, try to build on this momentum. So he's won four of the last five points. There's been a couple of errors from the Korean. Well, <laughs> it was actually a great effort to get it back. OK, fortunate but it sets up five game points. Just needed the one. So 11-5, a, a genuine statement of intent from the 26-year-old. It just took five minutes, and he has the edge here. One luck. I certainly think that Kim's coach doesn't have to say a whole lot because he simply didn't miss anything. 100% offense, both wings. Nice acceleration, the strokes. Basically, I'd be telling them, listen, perfect game. Keep it up. Nothing to talk about. Go to the table. See if there's any change here in terms of tactics and or abilities to come back in the game. Time will tell. But we know Kim's going to continue to go for his shots. It's the way he plays. Back 
backhand. So much acceleration. It's all coming from his elbow and his forearm. Yeah. That wasn't that spinny. Just power. A little bit of spin, but mostly power. Clean and efficient. He hasn't missed many of those. Well, this is just what what I needed. A, a positive start to the second game after being effectively blitzed in the first. Well, compared to this time in the last game, it's a significant improvement. Yeah, and you just you wonder whether Kim can maintain that kind of a standard for three games. I mean. He, Incredible if he could. It's a nice short drop of the forehand, which led to the attack after that. That was nice. It kept Kim unable to attack, which allowed Benningham to do his thing with his forehand. He's excellent. Korea actually have an excellent record in the Paralympics. 99 medals coming into Paris over the years since 1960. Puts them in fifth place on the overall Paralympic table tennis table. Oh, that was a step over. Backhand off his forehand wing. You don't see that that often. There it is right there. So many options down the line, in the middle, cross court. I'm trying to put so much spin on that. It was, in the end, a swing at fresh air. And from 5-2 down. The Korean is back on level terms now. We've seen that shot before. Just an effortless little flick is going to get so much power. He's got his blade turned inward, so he is pulling it up a little bit, but not very much. Magnificent. Now to turn defense into attack. Talking of turning, looks like he's in the process of turning this game around from being well behind. Well, that was a big point. He needed that, Van Einem. Good service points. Drawing even again. <laughs> Net cord left Kim helpless. And now it's the Australian who has the impetus. In this topsy-turvy second game. That was a nice, strong wrist topspin. Two-point lead. I need him.
a patented backhand shot. Yeah, you can only keep him down for so long, can't you? Because you, you know that's going to come out, that weapon, at some point. You might want to consider going to the other side of the table. That is certainly his bread and butter shot. Didn't expect him to miss that. And here are game points for the Australian to level. And there he is. So a good response from Von Einem after dropping the opening game. 11-8. He wins the second, and we're all tied up here in this semi-final. One game all. So if you want to avoid, play a little bit side spin this way, don't play this side. Okay, if you want, or back spin. Okay, don't play this, uh, the side spin, very bad side spin. Because it helps you to go too much to your back. And we don't want that. But that Andrew has to remind himself, though, that Kim has a powerful back end. And not to necessarily go there too many times, because that is his shot. And when he's on, he wins that point. So he's got to take a look at strategically the other half of the table, move the ball around like he did there, and then finish with his own backhand. Pretty quick games. Yeah, five minutes for the first, seven for the second. These two are not into long rallies. So who's going to grab the initiative here? Good comeback from Von Einem. Kim starting out game three. What a great rally. Finished off by a strong forehand tossman. Well, you don't get to be world number one for nothing. We probably should have expected some kind of Von Einem recovery after. Well, it wasn't really even in the first game, was it? It was pretty much a cakewalk for Kim, but now it's a very different match. Tip off the net, just again, changes the trajectory of the ball and the pace. Responding with that in milliseconds is often extremely difficult. Not much Kim could do about that. And there it is, that strong backhand tossman stroke. And item has to be conscious of that all of the time. Interesting that neither man availed themselves of the, the towel at that last tallying grip. They just want to get on with it. So into the momentum of the match here. Another oh. terrific rally. Combinations again, this time for and back end. Nothing too much to separate these players in this game. It's a great advert for Class 11 
men's para table tennis though this uh, semi-final two quality players I'm thinking I may have hit a shirt and he just stopped playing. Because he just stopped. Yeah, mid rally. So that's what I'm thinking. I'd like to see it again. Kim kind of pulled his bracket across his body in that one. Didn't go cleanly forward. And also brought his elbow up while he did it. I want to keep that elbow stable. in there, tried to be the aggressor, tried to finish the point, try to change it up. Wouldn't quite pull the trigger on that one. Well, building up to potentially a nail-biting conclusion here, this third game. And oh, timeout time called. in by the Australian. No, in fact, it's a Korean time. Korean coach tries to keep it simple. Not too much information. He knows his player has a very strong back at attack. Superior, actually, to his opponent. But also... Not be afraid to use his forehand drive wider to the middle of the table. across the back end. It's just an unconventional shot normally. And then go right at his body with it. He was so quickly onto it as well. I think surprised Von Einem with it. Nice pivot. Everyone, iron, item, item. Well, absolutely abject frustration showing on the face of uh, one item after he missed that because it's given him two game points to go back in front. That's a gutsy rally. That's all that can be said there. He turned Kim's strong backhand and finished with his own strong top spin forehand cross court. A nice point. Second chance then for the Korean. 
And the second chance was taken emphatically. So he is back in front, and he leads the world number one again. 11-9, he takes the third game, and he's a game away from the gold medal match. If it's low and short, then you can do play short with this corner. But if it's a little bit bounce, go, but go anywhere, Sammy. Go anywhere, Mr. Stark. Come on! So Von Eymann needing to win this game, keep his hopes alive. Terrific rally again for starters. Absolutely no hesitation by either athlete to go for the winner. Well, Kim's already done better here than he did in Rio, where he just missed the medal finishing fourth. He's guaranteed a bronze in Paris. But uh, at the moment, his only focus is on winning this match and getting a chance to play for gold. It will not be easy, though, against the world number one. Von Einem's come back once. Absolutely no reason why he couldn't do it again. Change in position there on the uh, return of serve down the line. Kim was there, but just didn't uh, finish it off. Well, it's punch and counter punch at the moment. to use the cross-court shots, both of them. Their styles are almost identical. Uh, vaulted back and Thompson, but this time down the line and not cross court. He put it somewhere differently. We have a timeout here. Yes, we do. Yeah. Yeah, the Australian this time needing a few words with the coach because this is a well, you wouldn't say it was a perilous position to fall two down, but certainly concerning. Yeah, the timing's good. good for this timeout, and I think that. Um, have to be he wants to be very cognizant. But I know about what he needs to do with the ball. That was an interesting line from the, He said we need to play on our terms, not on his terms. Take it to your opponent. Yeah, don't let Kimchi Tate start dictating the pace of the rallies. It's good advice. Easier said than done, however. Yeah, for sure. Korean serving, 4-2. Oh, and in this kind of a situation, 2-1 down and now 5-2 down, every error that Von Einem makes kind of feels like it's magnified. That, that was an unforced error. I'm not sure he knew what he wanted to do with it. It just seemed to be he was uncertain. Yeah, well, that well, maybe that was the problem. He was in two minds. In the end, didn't do anything with it. <laughs> and all of a sudden, he's 6-2 down.
Faulted serve there. Yeah. Arnhem is definitely under duress at this moment. Kim should be feeling the opportunity now to put this away. He's got a good lead and he's on service. Well, he certainly looks composed at the moment. We have seen in this tournament and in many others, players do tend to tighten up when the winning line kind of hovers into focus, but at the moment, showing no signs of suffering from that. And only two points away now. Lost seven of his first eight meetings, Kim, against Von Einem. Won two of the last three. Might be three out of the last four in a minute. Full power strokes by both players. No one's giving you an inch here. Well, that was a little uncontrolled, that backhand from Kim, and normally we've seen it's his trademark shot you concerned Australians looking on mm. comeback might be on here John you know <laughs> the way things are going yeah. you're absolutely correct he was basically falling back and attacking at the same time. Very hard to do. Let's see, this is a big point. Well, they're all big now, of course. Created that delicious angle again. Going across the table and match points now, four of them for Kim Ji Tae. Well, that's going to be death or glory, wasn't it? <laughs> I think he made his mind up he was going to play that before the Australian even served, but might want to be a bit more circumspect. That was a brave backhand. Simply put, brave. Kim tried to counter with an awesome, an awesome backhand. Finishing it off and just couldn't quite manage it. So, two match points saved, two to go. This is, uh, this is nerves now. This is very nervous for Kim. He was playing so well, and all of a sudden, I think maybe the enormity of the situation has caused him to really tighten up. Final ma match point for now. Brilliant comeback, absolutely brilliant. He was 9-3 down, he was 10-6 down. Now he's within a couple of points of forcing the decider. Suddenly the uh, Australian flags are flying again. Well, wow. it was right in the hitting zone, but it still had to be hit. I mind that, but he pulled away and went down the line. It's still an incredibly high-quality shot. You can't even see him in the picture. He's moved that far wide. So a fifth chance. On his own serve. What a recovery that was from the Australian. Yeah, Nick Nett and I thought that was it. The ball's going to come back with not a lot of pace on it. Kim would finish it off. 
Van Eyman just refuses to lie down. Well, these rallies have just got better and better and better, haven't they? Such a high-quality match, this. They certainly have. Match point number six. What normally happens with it, when someone's had that many, he doesn't take it. The first time Von Einem gets an opportunity, he will. That's what usually occurs. What can Kim do this time? Match point number six. Oh. And I think he made a deliberate decision there, Kim, to stay a bit more patient in that point. He did, he did. And again, there was a little timing off with the net, but he went for it in the end. He did. He gave it everything he had. The recovery here. Just wanted it. Again, we're talking millimeters. Yeah, such a fine line at this level. It's a little tight there, I think. Yeah, he was tight. Well, the fans inside the South Paris Arena getting their value for money here in this particular game alone. Seventh match point for Kim. He's played that shot a couple of times, uh, Von Einem, and it's quite a clever shot, actually. It is, and I thought it might have been a fraction too long, but I think Kim's getting there was actually a fraction too, too late. He went for the flick winner and kept the net. Yeah, having almost to play it from below the height of the table. So 13 all now. This time, maybe. Let's see. Great tenacity showing by Von Eyman. But how long can he keep doing this? Relentless pressure. A match point. Is it that time? That is a fantastic win. He's beaten the world rank number one. Von Einem, who got a silver in Rio and in Tokyo. It'll only be a bronze this time. But Kim with a chance to fight for gold now. What a battle in that fifth game. The eighth match point he finally converted, 15-13.